Howdy peeps! This is Marvy Pan, and welcome to a rather saucy tutorial. This is going to show you, hopefully, how to get your Twitch chat and overlay it onto your stream so that people can view the chat within the stream. And then obviously if you create highlights of your stream, export it to YouTube, people can retrospectively see what you're talking about. So, so if you make a reaction in your stream, refer to something that's said in chat, it would all tally up. So, um, Eleva, who is a streamer, she asked me to go through this with her one day. So here it is. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you uh, get some sort of use out of it. Uh, so let's get stuck in. Okay, so what I'm not going to do um, is explain how to get from birth to becoming a streamer and installing OBS. I'm going to assume that you've got that far on your own. So well done you. What we're going to do is jump into OBS here, set up a new scene, which I've already named OBS Chat Tutorial. And we're going to start adding our sources, getting everything piled on top of each other and end up with chat being on top of the stream. So uh, this is what I would do is if I was starting a stream for the first time, I would add a source by right clicking in sources, click on add, uh, game capture. So I'm on PC, I've got a game running in the background. So I'm going to pick, there you go, Rocket League, sitting in the menu, click OK. So there's our first source. Very straightforward. If we preview stream, there it is. Okay, this next bit will be useful for those of you who use webcams. Um, for those of you who don't, you can ignore this bit, but uh, a lot of people do these days. So if you want to add like a, an image overlay that you've created um, or your video from your webcam, obviously, we need to add some more sources. So what I would do personally is add a source, an image, which I've created earlier. This is a work in progress, so ignore its uh, shitness. <laughs> uh, but I have got, here we go, a red border, which will sit around my webcam. Obviously that's loaded up, it's not where I want it. Within OBS, if you want to move or resize one of your sources, click it, highlight it here, then click on edit scene. So you can see the red uh, border around it now. If I resize this to its maximum, that will sit exactly where I want it. So, job done. Click edit scene again, and now it's done. So, okay. So the next thing that I would do is add my webcam. So right click in sources, add. This time it's a video capture device because that's what webcam is. <laughs> so again, you can rename these. So as an example, webcam, make it easier. Bosch device is selected so my webcam is there. Uh, I'm going to set a custom resolution which I know that I use. Everything else is okay so brace yourselves. Okay not quite where I want it so again what we would do is edit that scene so click on edit, shrink it down, shift it over where I want it. That's pretty spot on it. So that's where I want it. Problem being is that it's over my border. I want it under my border. So if you want to reorganize the layers, so for example, if I right click on webcam, order, move down. Ta-da! That is done. So I've got my webcam set up. I've got my border. This is what you came here for, right? So what we need to do now is head over to night dev. All link is below and we're going to go and get that sorted out for the chat aspect. So, whoosh, here's a browser that I prepared earlier. As you can see, nightdev.com is open in front of us. There's a nice little welcome message there from Nightdev. Welcome! Nightdev is a software development company making tools that focus on automation. You can open a list of projects by clicking the button below. So let's do that, shall we? So there's a whole host of projects here that will help your stream experience. The one that we're focusing on today is purely CapChat. So click on that. And this is where we start getting into the detail that we want. So CapChat captures Twitch chat directly into OBS or XSplit. Simple as that. Click on install for OBS. 
read the information that is presented in front of you. So step one of five to get started, make sure you have installed Night Dev's repackaged CLR browser plugin. You must do that, otherwise it won't work. To do that, simply click the download button below and the zip file will download. It's 80 meg, so you know, brace your internet pipes for that. It might take a few minutes. When you've downloaded the plugin, completely unzip the contents, then double click the install.bat file. When you've done that, it will do what it needs to do, where it needs to do it, and you don't need to worry about it anymore. Since I've already done that, I don't need to worry about it. If you haven't, click download, follow those instructions, job done. Come back to Night Dev, click on next on here, and we'll step to step two. So here we go. Cap chat installation, step two of five. Open OBS and add a new CLR browser source. Okay, after naming the source, you will see a configuration window pop up. Now you need to generate your hosted URL. Enter the Twitch username below, select a style and click next. So this bit here is the kind of the important bit. It's simply customizing uh, the URL that you need to enter into OBS based on the information that you put into it. So here we go, username, your Twitch username, not your URL. So enter your Twitch username. If you want to fade the chat, you can fade it. I personally like a fade. I don't want it hanging around all the time. So I'll put a 45 second fade on chat, which means that after 45 seconds, the line of text would sort of disappear. You can also show bot activity if you wish. Uh, CapChat tries to hide bot activity by default, but if you want to display bots, simply tick that box, okay? Okay, so here we are at the chat theme. This is kind of like the, the important bit and how you can kind of customize what it looks like on your stream. Uh, you can mark around with these. I create two personally. I'll create one with a light background for when I'm playing a light game. And if I'm playing a horror game and it's a dark environment, I will use a dark chat. So I will show you what both look like. Uh, muck around, pick these what you want. So, I mean, if you don't know what they are, you can click it and preview it. So I've gone for better TTV dark preview. This is what it will look like. So you, as you can see, the reason I like this one is that it kind of separates each person's chat with like a line. So it's kind of separated it reads it easier in my opinion that's what it's going to look like the dark background and and chat coming through like that you go for light so the light option it's kind of got like a light gray background so it kind of blends in with a lighter colored game it's not so well not such of an eyesore so very straightforward you again you can look at others and preview them, see what they come up like. So if you don't want any background behind it, but just a bit of a shadow on the text, you can opt for those as well. So I'm gonna set my dark theme and click on next. So, here we go. This is pretty much the end, to be honest. Uh, well, that says step three of five. Enter the following information into the source configuration. So this is the URL for our chat, okay? This is what we need to enter into OBS. Uh, I'll show you how to do that in a second. So again, read what it's telling you. After entering the URL, you can change the width and height inside your source settings to your liking. And if you aren't sure what settings to use here, try starting off with a height of 600 and a width of 300 and muck around with it as you want, okay? Step four, I'm gonna ignore. Go back to OBS. Hi. <laughs> uh, and what we want to do is add a CLR browser source. So, right click in sources, add, and there is your freshly installed CLR browser. So we click on that. I'm going to rename it for the purpose of this tutorial. Twitch chat. Bush. Okay. So, remember that link that we copied? Yeah. 
paste it into the URL section. Now me personally, because I know my stream setup, I've already gone through this process, I know that I want a width of 300 and a height of 375. So you can muck around with that and keep coming into the properties to adjust that to your liking. I'll show you how to do that. So if we click on OK, what should happen now if I untick the Twitch chat, bearing in mind this is previewing a stream, tick it, somewhere on the screen, here we go, top left hand corner, you will see that he has appeared. How cool is that? So, connecting to the chat server, wanting to join channel, and then the next line should be connected to your username. So there you go, join chat, Marvy Pan. So, I'm going to edit the scene because that's not where I want it. And I'm going to simply drag it where I do want it, which is going to be underneath my webcam. Just going to resize it as well using the red uh, pull points. And cool. Just move it underneath my, uh, my name and social media stuff. And that's the fade. Remember how I told you about the fade of 45 seconds? So that is where I want it to be. Click edit scene to leave that alone now. So if I reload it, just by ticking it and unticking it again, it will pop up exactly where I want it in the style that I want. So there you go. Uh, if you need to resize this, I mean, you can do the edit scene, but if you want to actually change the dimensions of the chat, simply right click on Twitch chat and properties and it will take you to here where you can then muck around with the width and height. Very straightforward. So uh, yeah, um, for step four and five, I mean this is advanced stuff that I don't need to worry about. If you are into CSS code and want to muck around with it more you can. Other than that, it's done, it works, so obviously when people chat in your stream on Twitch, you'll see the extra lines come up. Um, and the reason that I've uh, set the, the height to 375 is because I don't want it dropping off further than this point. So if it's a really busy stream and chat is quite quick, it will fill up to this point. From there, it will have to wait to fade to be shown so as obviously the top lights fade out, uh, fade out the bottom ones will pull up and you'll be able to see everything that's being said so I think I think that is about it if you're using XSplit pretty much the, uh, the same process applies when you add your sources similar to what you do here with OBS it won't say CLR browser it will say web browser you copy that same URL that we've just gone through the process on NightDev, the same details apply, copy that link, add it in a web browser on XSplit, and that's it, same thing happens, and then you can obviously reposition it and, and job done. So, yeah, I think we're gonna end it here. So that'll wrap up the tutorial. I hope it's been uh, educational and helpful. Um, if there are any other requests for stuff that you'd like me to go through and, and teach you guys, by all means, let me know in the comments. And yeah, I hope you enjoy your streaming experience with chat being overlaid. And uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, ciao for now. Reality is that which, when you stop believing in it, doesn't go away. Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Here, take this. No, that, that's for later, for the scan.